What's up guys, welcome back to Hypixel Skybox, and today we're going to be finishing the Rift. The Rift update will give you 1000 Skybox XP, which is around 10 Skybox levels. This took me around 20 to 25 hours to make, so if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and watch till the end. First of all, I finished everything in the first section of the Rift. And I am finishing off the Black Lagoon part of it, which is the second area. Here I'm crafting the Time Charm for this area, which is the Supreme Time Charm. From each Time Charm, you will gain 100 Skyblock XP. And for each task you do in the Rift Guide, you will get 3 Skyblock XP. Some of these tasks include upgrading your Crux Talisman and upgrading your armor pieces. In the third section, which is the West Village, you're able to enter the Mirrorverse. Here you're able to complete challenges to get talismans and also a time charm. Some of these challenges include parkour, like this one, and this one. There are other challenges where you have to use your brain and get talismans. At the very end, you're able to claim a time charm, which is the mirrorverse time charm, and upgrade your chest plate. This will give me another 100 Skyblock XP. The fourth area is the Dread Farm. Here you are able to craft the Chicken Time Charm, which is the third Time Charm you are able to craft. Like the other two Time Charms, you also gain 100 Skyblock XP. The fifth area being the Village Plaza, and the fourth Time Charm being the Skyblock Citizen Time Charm. The sixth area will be the Living Stillness or the Living Cave. And to know, I am maxing out all my Crux kills on my Crux Talisman. This will give me a ton of Crux Fortune, which helps me get more Crux Cruxes. In this area, you're able to craft the Bluetooth Ring, which is a rare talisman. And also, this is the next time charm, giving me 100 Skyblock XP. The second to last area will be the Bacti fight. From this fight, you will be able to get Bacti fragments. From this area, you will get the Goblet time charm and also get scammed by Reed. 100 Skyblock XP later, we're able to enter the Vampire section, which is also the last section of the Rift. Here you're able to start Vampire Slayer, which actually leveled me up to level 233. To actually kill a Vampire boss, you will actually have to worry about your health and other abilities like Twin Claws and Resurrection. Doing some more tier 3s and tier 2s, I was able to get myself Vampire Slayer 3 and level 4. This also leveled me up to level 235. Using the blood badges that I just unlocked as a recipe, I'm able to craft the anti bite scarf, the coven leggings, the weirder tuba, and also a luscious healing melon. Doing a ton more tier 4s, I was able to hit Vampire Slayer's level 5. This unlocks the Vampire Time Charm recipe, which I just crafted. This is the final and 7th Time Charm in the Rift, giving me 100 Skyblock XP. This is how I completed the Rift in around 20-25 to 25 hours, which is not very fast. 
but still a ton of time. So if you like this video, please drop a like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next week's episode.